Are you looking to pattern an asymmetrical dart into your bodice sloper pattern? Well, I'm going to teach you how you can do it easily through Adobe Illustrator. Hi, I'm Christina, and I love to digitally apparel pattern in Adobe Illustrator, and I especially love to throw some asymmetrical stuff into my patterns to create those unique designs that you can't always find anywhere else. So let's bring up Adobe Illustrator and get patterning. I'm going to bring up my half scale pattern, so I'm going to be working on a smaller size. If you're interested in a half scale pattern, I have one linked down below so that you can start messing around with this half scale pattern in Adobe Illustrator. The first thing that we have to do is we actually have to create both sides of the garment. Since we're going to be having it be asymmetrically different, we, need, we can't just be working on the fold or anything like that. We actually need both sides of this garment. So I'm going to copy, I'm not going to copy, I'm going to reflect it. So I'm going to just select half my bodice and then I'm going to reflect it across that point, hit copy so that I have both sides now. Now I can work with it just this way, but I actually want to remove that center line so that I don't have it like awkwardly in my pattern some other way or anything like that. So I'm going to cut apart this pattern, go back to this guy, cut him apart so that I will only have those two. My pattern is still grouped together, so that means that the bust point and my little armhole notch, that is all grouped. So I'm going to ungroup my two patterns, and now I can just select those center pieces and delete them. They're gone. but before we move on, we actually want to make this a whole pattern because right now it's two half patterns that aren't actually connected to each other. So we're going to highlight our anchor points and join in a smooth there. Highlight those two anchor points and join in a smooth. There we go. Now it is all one pattern and it won't need to be any, it, <laughs> it's all one pattern and it's not, it's going to move together now. So what I decided is I'm going to have one of my darts come out of my side seam and the other dart come from almost the side seam but still the waist seam. So they're both going asymmetrically to one side. I am going to give myself, hmm, I'm just going to go ahead and draw the full line. So I'm going to do that one first. And then I'm going to give myself a guideline and I think I'm going to go nice and close to that edge to get it really asymmetrically across my body. Then we're just going to treat this very much like I did with the dart slash and spread manipulation video that you can definitely find right up here. Can you see my finger? You couldn't, but it's right up there. So definitely check that one out so that you can see how this is done because all we're going to do is we're going to actually cut apart this, or not, we're not going to cut first. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move this bust point, the top of the dart, all the way up to the top of the bust point. Then we're going to cut apart our pattern. So I'm going to cut it apart there and there so that when I highlight just that, that's just the part of the pattern piece that I'm going to be rotating. Before I do that, I have found that I can highlight this piece and do a control C, control F, and it will copy that line right on top of it. And now I have two lines right on top of each other. The reason why this is handy to do is then you can deselect both, select just the one, shift, select the other pieces that you want to rotate, and then we're going to rotate this dart shut. Boom just like that, and you already have your two legs of your darts there, basically, which is super handy. Now, if I had done that a little bit more precise and only went to the side seam, I would know that those dart legs would be perfectly symmetrical. I can still finagle it and make sure and measure them to make sure that they are, um, but you can do that. So now, whoops, let's go in, not out. We're going to now pull this bust point 
out from the center. And we're going to do that by creating a line at 0.3125. And we're gonna go at like 250 uh, maybe. Whoa, so not right. That's okay, we're just gonna rotate it until it's in the middle of that dart because if you actually, you need it to go slightly out off of that bus point. So then we're going to grab these ends like so and bring them out to that end. The last thing I like to do is I like to get rid of the legs so that we just have that line disappears so that legs of the original dart are gone. You're not gonna be messing around with them later. They're not gonna throw you off because they're still there on the pattern. And it just cleans up the pattern. It makes the pattern, you know, much happier to look at. And then I'm going to join, did you go? Yes. I'm gonna join this, these two points right there. And we'll want to join the dart legs into a corner. Into a corner. So now we have just doing the dart manipulation in the slash and spread method to that side. Next, we're gonna actually do the asymmetrical. So we are gonna be crossing that center line and getting this dart to be coming from the opposite side. I'm gonna start by, I don't wanna, wanna make sure I'm right in the center of that. And I'm gonna start by giving myself my new slash line. We're going to move that dust bus point. We're gonna move that dart tip up into the bus point. And then we're gonna cut the pattern apart again. It is highlighted, so I'm going to cut that intersection. And then I'm going to zoom in here, make sure I have that, that make sure I have the outline of the pattern highlighted, not my guideline. Because if I had my guideline uh, highlighted, I could cut that by mistake. And I want to make sure I'm cutting that outside pattern. Great. Zoom out. And then we're going to get do the we're going to copy paste the dart line again so we're going to just do copy front so c <laughs> control c control f click off click on and then we're going to get the other one the rest of that pattern let's rotate it on that and let's just rotate it on in there we have it there is the basic look of that asymmetrical dart Ooh, i'm so excited and this little hash mark right there will help. Let's go in, not out. I don't know why I keep doing that. That's gonna help you under, know where the end point of what you're gonna match up the extra, this end point to. So I always like having those little notches there because it helps um, you know what you were thinking about when you're actually making the thing or if you pattern something, leave it around for you know a month or two, and then you come back to it, it's like, what was I thinking? I have no idea what's happening with this pattern. That has never happened to me. It happens all the time. So <laughs> we're going to finish making this pattern all good. So we're going to get a line going out of there at that. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. 3.125 at 235 maybe. Ooh, that was closer, but we're still gonna rotate it just a little bit to get right in the center as best we can. And you might find that your bust radius for you personally is bigger and you need to be going a little bit bigger than what they recommend. Uh, it is pretty standard that underneath the bust you go, I believe five eighths of the inch, over the bust you go three quarters of an inch, but again, there's a lot that goes into that with your body type and the bus type and all that fun stuff. Then we're going to subtract this line to clean up our pattern. One more, there it is. And we're going to make sure that all 
of these points are joined back together so that our pattern is one full piece instead of a couple different pieces. This is important for when you add seam allowance or when you are um, moving stuff around. You want to make sure it's all connected so that when you do that stuff it's not causing you problems later on. Let's see here, make sure there's not three there since it yelled at me because they're, oh yep, see there was a little extra anchor point there. Now I should be able to highlight those two into a corner. There we go. Go down to this last point. Should have zoomed out a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, I figured it was going to be a little bit cranky. So we're going to move him up. We want to go corner. There we go. And then we can move him right back down. And there we have it. We have now patterned an asymmetrical bodice with both darts heading towards one side. Definitely come back later because I'm going to be doing a asymmetrical to opposite sides because that's also a really fun look to do. Definitely like and subscribe so that you can learn some more fun illustrator patterning tips and tricks and you can start patterning your own garments to create for yourself. And I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!